hello and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this now moment with myself and with one another. For those of you who haven't seen these videos before, welcome and welcome back if you have. My intention is benevolence for all highest levels of love, light, and oneness. Um, I'm going to go right into the synchronicities that I've been seeing. Um, if you're looking for the light language video, this is probably not going to be it. I invite you to go back and watch September 8th video, which has a lot of light language, toning, so on and so forth. Friday's message, which is September 6th, I talk a lot about the earth changes and the body changes, a little bit about ascension symptoms, so if you're looking for that, I invite you to go back and watch those two videos. Those are my most recent ones. Having said that, I just want to share that as we begin to expand, and um, I'm going to back up and say not everybody's in the same space. Right? We all are sharing space, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're all seeing things from the same perspective. So there are, what I've been seeing in the collective, not only in session work, but just in general, are we are all activating different potentials, different timelines, different uh, color rays, different crystals, different elemental kingdoms, different, I could go on and on. And each of us holds certain codes and access points within our DNA that is being activated at different times for each of us or because of different potentials. So I wanted to share that we are all in different phases or stages. And there tends to be, though, oftentimes an underlying similarity in currents. For example, the synchronicities that I have been seeing over the course of the last two weeks have been all about the dragons. However, somebody else may not have seen anything about dragon energy, and they might only be seeing information about the divine feminine. Another person may not be seeing anything about that, but they're focusing on the kundalini serpent energy. Another person might be seeing that there's a lot going on with the blue ray or the color blue. See where I'm going with this? Maybe, perhaps? Another person might be recognizing that there seems to be a lot of information coming through about a particular archangel. Now, I'm sharing all of these different pieces because essentially, from my perspective, among many perspectives, this is just one, those are all connected. It may not be the same flavor though. So for example, when we speak of dragon energy, I have a tendency to pull all of that together. I see blue dragons. I Oh, water. Water was the other thing that was coming through. And mushrooms, which we'll get to, I've talked about in several other videos. So I am seeing all of those, from my perspective, all of those as being connected. Somebody else may not see any of those as being connected because their specialty is on the rays, the color of the rays, the shapes. Another person, it's the geometry. Another person, it's discovery of a mathematical equation. Another person, it's that divine feminine goddess energy. So I'm just sharing that what I'm seeing is in synchronicity is that there are multiple pieces of the puzzle that are all igniting and all lining up. Some of them are connecting, some of them aren't, but from my perspective, they're all connected. What'll happen is the more and more we connect with this multi-dimensional aspect of ourselves, the more that we line up with the synchronicities that are guiding us towards what it is we're activating within ourselves. I'm not sure if I said that right, but in other words, um, as we activate perhaps within my, let's say for somebody, for example, somebody has no connection with the dragon frequencies, yet they are having this connection with the archangel, particular archangel, or the colors blue, for example. Blue, 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 blue. That doesn't mean that those two can't combine to assist one another or to help stimulate certain uh, memories within a person's architecture or blueprint. Does that make sense? So for example, while the dragon energies are activating within some and this blue energy is activating within others, 
they may not see the two connect, but when, let's say, two individuals who have both of those activated within them come together, they then help to stimulate and tie those together in order to further activate whatever one person was holding within their frequency. So if I come into contact with someone else, whether it be through social media or meditation or a conversation or session work, they are holding that frequency, I'm holding this frequency. But there, um, I'm gonna share another, another um, concept of this in just a minute. We come together and boom, the two ignite and all of a sudden, we both hold that frequency from one perspective or we both double the power of one and one and then this becomes even stronger within us. The other perspective is we're going through a lot of, let's say this blue energy and this dragon energy were from parallel worlds. So we're pulling together these timelines or these different versions from multiple planetary existences that happen to be coming into this alignment and then when they come together, it anchors these frequencies together so that they can be utilized with one another in coexistence. And I could go on and on. So there's many different perspectives of what I'm seeing happening in the collective and with all of the synchronicities that are coming through. And we're essentially utilizing all of these energies, the more open we are and the more space um, we hold and create for one another, the more expansive and faster our activations not only occur, but are anchored. So I just jumped right into it, didn't I? <laughs> Some of you guys who haven't seen these videos before might be going, what? <laughs> so I was seeing a lot of, okay, so let me go back uh, again and talk about the starseed community. So what's happening is, is as we come into connection with one another as starseeds, let's say I hold this blue energy and another light worker holds this dragon energy, or maybe I hold the blue, the dragon energy, but it wasn't fully ignited within me yet and vice versa. We come together in conversation or synchronicity or whatever it might be. I start to read the work that they're presenting. It either resonates with me or it doesn't. And boom, things are triggered. And I remember these memories, feelings, et cetera, et cetera. This is kind of how it's been working in general with the Lightworker and Starseed community. In essence, we're holding space for one another to transmit these frequencies. We're holding space in acceptance of one another's activating gifts. And we're holding space in one another, which then opens the space for us to collaborate and connect in as multidimensional aspects of one another. So many different perspectives here. I'm saying it in such a way that Perhaps it kind of activates some idea of how these synchronicities are assisting one another right now. So what I was being shown, and I'm going to go back in just a moment. I have a few light workers I've connected with that are part of my star family. Literally hold a similar blueprint to myself and liter literally we're like plugged in together. So what will happen is, for a lot of the reasons I started this YouTube channel. When I first started the YouTube channel, I would see, I would go online, I've talked about this before, and somebody would post something that I had been writing down for the last two weeks. And they would post it and I would go, oh, that's what I've been seeing. But I've been seeing it slightly different. So I was guided to share my own different version. Because again, they're posting from that blue aspect, here I am bringing in the dragon aspect, and I'm seeing it from a slightly different angle and then those that are connecting into both of those can maybe pull together both of those pieces of information and expand even further with their own connections to a particular, let's say, tribe that are connected with both of those energies, but they're pulling in this tribal flavor from, let's say, the Dogons. I could go on and on. Lots of stuff. And I'm apologies if I'm not saying that right. Dogons, Dogons, Dogons. 
And I'm not saying that those are the links. I'm just using those as examples. Okay. So we, what they were showing me is um, for a long time, it was like a, the crystals. And you guys, this is still, um, this is a very linear perspective. So what they were showing me is there were a lot of star seeds, these crystals that had been planted, embedded in the earth. And it took a certain vibration in order to activate these crystals. And then visualize these crystals vibrating and coming up from the earth and then out from those grow flowers, right? Then these flowers have these seeds and then those are dispersed all over. And then they go back into the earth, come up and it's a cycle. And essentially we're constantly in this cycle. But what was happening from what they were showing me is in our third D, 3D, lower density vibration, these crystals couldn't, couldn't be felt. They couldn't get above ground. They couldn't activate. Therefore, they couldn't be seen or felt and they couldn't grow. Which keep in mind too, these crystals, when they grow through the earth, their perspective changes because now they have a new space in which to see from. And I'm kind of talking about these crystals as being alive. So we'll play with that. So picture this crystal, it grows up through the earth. And you guys, this can be used in so many different stories. Then it sprouts out of this crystal, it becomes a beautiful flower. Or you could say it's a quartz crystal, it starts out as quartz and then it turns into amethyst. Whatever it might be, it starts off as one vibration and it becomes another vibration. But these crystals weren't, weren't able to do that before because it was so dense and so heavy. And so we weren't connecting, right? It was like this. But what they're showing me is that has all changed. This is all alive. This is all working. It's all back online. Now these crystals have been able to sprout beautiful flowers. And I think that's maybe just a... a an analogy, right? And then this is dispersed. I picture fairy dust and that fairy dust is sprinkled everywhere. But these crystals were placed and then they plant seeds into wherever those land. These crystals were, were placed here in particular areas before. Okay, so they're asking me to use this as an example. This is literal in the earth, but it's also another analogy of us. We are the crystals. So we weren't necessarily able to open and expand. We weren't online. We weren't able to connect with the earth in certain ways. And now, boom, that has shifted. We've grown. We have essentially opened and we have become these flowers. And some people are still here. Some people are here. Some people are here. I'm gonna address right now the dandelion. So we're gonna say that these crystals have now sprouted and become a dandelion. And, and I'll get to this in a minute. I'm probably gonna do several videos on the dandelion um, synchronicities. And I'll share that at the end. Ooh. So now this dandelion is the crystal, it is the flower. It's connected to everything. It's this mama energy, right? This, this feminine energy. And as this now, it has the ability to, within this dandelion, if you picture a dandelion, there's all of these seeds, right? Or the inside of a sunflower. Picture a sunflower, it creates all these seeds. Then those seeds are open, they fall, and then they regrow. This dandelion, the wind comes and it disperses the seeds. And what's happening is, is those seeds are going all over the world. So this is literal in the form of energy as well as spores and fungus within the earth. So we're going to just touch briefly on all of this in this video. So because of some of the activities that have been going on on the earth, a lot of what was being held under the earth has now been able to spread in a good way. Same thing with us. So star seeds are connecting through this web of energy because this is now able to hold a frequency that allows that to happen. 
or you could think things have been reversed and this is now being poof spreading into the air and essentially going where it needs to go in order to seed the energies that this dandelion holds right wherever those dandelions uh, seeds need to go and I'm gonna get into this in just a minute so what they're showing me though is in each individual dandelion seed we'll pretend it's me and you we hold dragon blue whatever it might be these energies and I'm just it rainbow emerald I mean it's infinite Lyran, um, Lumerian, Atlantean, uh, Insectoid, I could go on and on. It's infinite. Arcturian. And now each of these seedlings that holds all of that, but also, a, you know, an individual aspect as well, is being dispersed. Now we are, the, what they're showing me is, is we're in a space right now the only way that they're allowed to do this is because of the amount of space that they hold. So what happens is, and I'll get into that in the next video, but I just wanted to share briefly, this is what I'm seeing. So we are these dandelion seeds that look like this, and we're kind of like the piezoelectricity or piezoelectricity that I talked about maybe two years ago. No. A year ago, I guess that's when I started doing these, not two years ago. I'd been seeing it two years ago. It's kind of like that. I was seeing us as spiders, and all of these spider webs had poofed and were being carried by the air. This is relevant right now because the space that we allow for one another, as well as ourselves, is dictating how far we are carried. If you've ever seen a dandelion seed and you blow them, they go everywhere. Sometimes they'll stay in the land, but then the air will pick them up again and they'll continue to move. And I'll talk a little bit about the synchronicities as far as that goes too. So this is what's going on. We were stuck before or we were rooted before because that's where we needed to vibrate to bring that energy out so that all, everything around us could also activate and sprout, but also these crystals that are literal. So now we have created this space around us and now all of the things we're sharing all of the energy and the love and the light we're providing all of the support that we're offering is literally allowing the seedlings the information that we carry to be dispersed everywhere i've got goosebumps everywhere it's beautiful and i'm seeing this in relationship to a spin so it's being like spun and that's what we're offering. So this message is for more of those, if you're not there yet, you don't feel like that's happening, this is how it works. It's a cycle, it's a cyclical pattern. And we're in this space right now that because of the vibration that we've held and the amount of space that we've created, it's allowing everything to lift and to be carried that much farther. And how far we carry this is literally how willing we are to open, open, space, 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 allow, allow, allow. And you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm referring to. It's not like allowing, allowing this to happen or allowing that to happen. It's being an allowance of our growth is what I mean by allow. Not constricting it because the more we constrict, this closes up, the more we drop down into, and if that's where we need to be, then that's where we need to be. But we're being invited to breathe, to care for ourselves, because we're this dandelion and we are also all those individual seeds. This is the information that we carry is literally being spread through the light workers. For those of you out there that are doing what you're doing, it's affecting people on such a, a huge scale that we may not even realize it. And if you're just out there holding space, that's just as powerful. If you're holding space and you're allowing all these other little seedlings to be who they need to be in order to expand as well. So this is just one message. I'm going to go into more details, but I am going to end on this note because I've been trying to keep these a little shorter. Um, 
I'll get into the vortex of the dandelion in just a minute. And I want to share also, um, this all came through synchronicity. So I'm going to end on this note and I'll kind of start on this note in my next video. I've connected with these star seeds and light workers who are part of my soul group that are seeing the same thing. And my um, one of my fellow light workers who's become a dear friend of mine, Candace Goddess, well, she's at Can uh, Candace underscore God Essence on Instagram. And I think she's also, she just changed her Instagram thing and I'll have to set, I'll have to include her link. But she and I have been messaging and we've been seeing the same things, which is really cool, in the same way. And this is going to start happening for you guys too. All of a sudden, somebody's going to start finishing your sentences and you're going to be like, what? What? Soul group. And that helps to empower one another to continue to spread that light in, in their own way and tie together at the same time. So this dandelion reference, literally, she's seeing them and I'm looking on the ground seeing what we're talking about in front of me as she's describing what she's seeing. And so I knew, okay, there's something going, there is something to this. Dandelions, when the seeds come up, create their own vortex of energy that separates and it helps them to fly. So you guys, we could be seeing this, and I'll get to this in more detail, but this is also energetic, but it could also have something to do with inventions that are being discovered right now for flight, right? So I could go on and on. It's, it's tying together our synchronicities in multiple ways of using those synchronicities. Dandelion can represent rebirth. It can rep represent expansion, but I'm literally seeing our energetic beingness and what we're offering as these dandelion seeds. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty exciting, and I will go into more details on the next video. So thank you so much dandelions <laughs> for plugging in and um, essentially lighting up the new grid and being connected to source and earth and spreading out this beautiful um, poof of uh, stardust. <laughs> In love and light, guys. Namaste.